So hello guys and uh, welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to talk about the new release of um, Ubuntu 25.04 and um, what is new with it and uh, what's the new features and everything. So his co-named co has a Blanky Puffin and uh, for curiosity Blanky Puffy it means uh, Blanky it means brave and Puffin is just the bird. So it's like um, the bird, the brave bird, or whatever you want to call it. And um, uh, this is going to have uh, some high quality integrated features. And it's uh, use it, uh, easy to use distribution that was uh, been uh, uh, the mode for, for Ubuntu for a lot of years now. And, um, and it, it aims to to provide new features and, and new updates. We're gonna check them out. Uh, the release update was uh, 17 of April. I'm a little bit uh, late for this review, but that's no no problem. And um, the new features are the the new desktop ISO. That's gonna be the one that we're gonna see first. It's the uh, RIRM64 uh, for the new generation of these uh, processors, AMRs, and um, for the the new new generation features and, and software. And it's going to have an improved installer, uh, so it's uh, easier to install applications and uh, and to work with the, the installation on the console and everything. And it have the GNOME 48 that it's not a, a new per se, but uh, another another release had that. But he have more things integrated on the on the GNOME 48. For example, the triple buffering, that it's the the technology to use um, buff the, the at the same time double and single and triple buffering to improve performance on the on the on the boot so you don't see the uh, in low capacity machines you don't see the drag on the on the windows and uh, it's smoother and everything you have the hdr settings that's new for hdr um, screens and um, have the well-being panel we're gonna check all all of that out uh, next uh, on the video and uh, battery health preserve that uh, avoid the, the battery to go full and have more use of the battery and less life for the battery uh, it have a new PDF reader uh, it's nothing uh, special, but it, uh, it's a new feature. And um, oh, and a lot of different minor features as the, the security and update and visually have new visually features. And anyway, we're going to check all of that out. So to start, we will uh, check. So first, we're going to start with, with this. I downloaded the normal Intel and IMD 64 bits, uh, but now you have the, the new version for the new processors. So this is a it's, a, it's a new thing you didn't have for this version, right? So the 2404 doesn't have this download, but the new 2504, it have it. Uh, I don't have a way to, to download or test this and show to you guys, but uh, it's here. You, you can, if you have a IM, IRM processor now, you can you can use it. And next, we're gonna check out the installation. I was almost in the middle, but I stopped a little bit so I can show to you guys. Uh, I have new designs. It looks smoother. Uh, and we'll have new options here. Let's see. And I'm gonna go for the default, and I will download. Yes. Uh, let me see if I can just go next. Okay. It is okay. And manual installation. Let's see what is on the manual installation. Okay, that's not what I am searching. Let's go on this. 
this is the new BitLocker uh, bit um, support. This is a new feature as well. Let's go not encrypt. It's a security uh, matter, of course. And let's put a name here. That looks perfect. Let's put the password. Just a second. I want to see it. Okay, you can use Active Directory directly here. Do not match. Because you want it. Let's do it again. And that's it. You can use Active Directory or we can just go next. We are good there. And let's uh, install. All right. Uh, on the installation, if you have another operating system, we'll go give you another options here right, to so... install it alongside a, a different operating system, or if you can, you can erase or but to have a little bit more easy, user-friendly options for that. It's giving this problem, but it, I can ignore it. That's it. I will uh, follow with you guys um, later. Give me just. All right, so we are back and, um, and they finished the installation and this is the, the new version. Uh, doesn't have uh, like different, a lot of different uh, visual stuff, but it has some features new. So let's check it out. Let's see, for example, the, oh, the, the nice uh, align icons here. That's um, some improvement there. So they, they use the a little bit effort to align the the, um, the icons we see the new document viewer let's see if we can uh, download the pdf somewhere so we can show this and um, let's check it out the new uh, where it is uh, well-being there it's there we go it's here so what can we do on the new well-being we have cream time limit we can limit the daily for eight hours or so or other different uh, custom things and then probably we will receive, uh, receive like a um, notification or a sound that says uh, look you are under your limit and grayscale I sign reminders. What does this do? Oh, it gives the sounds of the, the it gives the sounds of the notifications and movement reminders. Oh, this is to remind you to move. <laughs> so if you stay a lot of time on the computer, you will receive uh, <clears throat> movements for breaks. So it's good if uh, for a work purpose. So. Uh, one minute, five minutes before 30 minutes. So it gives the, you can work or you can use the computer for 30 minutes. And after that, you have to stop three minutes. That's that's the purpose. And that's it. This is the, the new well-being. So it's the well-being of the person that is using. And what do we have more? We have the battery. Uh, new settings let's see if we can find those probably here and power save ah because because this is a virtual machine it doesn't have battery so uh, we cannot show more here but uh, you have some more uh, features here when you say like I want to stop charging at 8%, 80%. So it doesn't burn my battery and you have these new options here. It's nice to, to have it. Some computers have it already on them, but if you don't have it, they have it here. So supposedly every time that you change a window, it, be, it come up in the middle of the screen like this and you can put it wherever you want and supposedly you have a best um, drag of performance of your of your system uh, what else can i show you we can look around uh, i don't know if everybody know the system so let's see what we have here this is the normal 
panel, we can change for light mode or dark and it goes dark, very nice, it change the background, change everything. Uh, we can put balance here directly, lock the computer, we have the settings um, there, so we can go directly there. Uh, with here, we will have our calendar with events, we can add new clocks to it what can we do more have the reminds have the do, do not disturb this is all old features they were here before uh, we can check out network this doesn't give nothing new can scale it here it's a little bit different but not that much landscape is have a big resolution sound input balance nothing very new there over amplification so for oh if you want to go over the 100 percent all right i can see that um limit level sounds alarm start up and powered we've been here this is where you say what to do with the windows and the multitasking so when you go to multitasking what will gonna appear on your screen this is the nice uh, old same old appearance um, menu we have all the the desktops that goes dark and if you want to change the hour for certain hours starts to be dark for your eyes it will change automatically from one to the other so we have that and it's uh, not much there here we have some more features like the size of the icon icons i always like it small but that it's my opinion uh, the position, where do they appear? I always got like the bottom right as well. Show, uh, okay. Auto hide the dock here, the side dock. Panel mode, icon size, I like them small. I don't know, that's me. And that's it, position screen to the left. You can change for like windows on the bottom or whatever you wanted and applications this is all the same that we already have it nothing's new here the same ones that you can um do it so that's it that was the the main features i uh, let me show you really quick the um, just open at least the um, the menu now it's here the new document viewer we can give it a look or not because i don't have a document let's see let's go to download and that's it so that's it guys this is the new pdf yeah it's a it's a good app nothing very out of the normal but um, have on the side the, the PDF, it looks good, have a good resolution. Um, it comes default, uh, you can use it and enjoy it. And uh, that's it for the new features. And for the new, the new Blunky Puffin 2504 um, uh, Ubuntu desktop, I hope you guys like it. If you do, please uh, like the, the video or subscribe the channel. And uh, it's a really good help for me that puts a lot of effort on these videos. And um, I see you guys on the next video. Thanks for watching.